welcome to this tutorial about GIMP on pixel art. Mm, this time we will speak about pixel art in depth and uh, show some interesting tips and uh, really cool stuff about differing because this is something you, you want to do sometimes when you new to pixel art and there is tips to make your life easier about this. So first of all, what is pixel art? This is a big question for a lot of people and uh, everybody has his own definition. But for me, pixel art is like a set of rules. You don't have to follow them all, but the more rules you follow, the more it is pixel art. So this is not binary, it is or it is not pixel art. But you can't say a photo is a pixel art because there is pixel on the picture. No, but it's not as simple. So here you can see uh, the difference between drawing and doing pixel art. One thing is uh, pretty clear. Uh, you can't have this kind of glazing using a brush like this. Oops, sorry. And, uh, like this. This is not pixel art. So first of all, you will need to use this pencil, for example, and do something like this. This is pixel art more than that. Um, then you want to do things pixel perfect, like uh, like this for example. That means you try to avoid just drawing things. You want to, um, to, to add pixels manually or in a way that is uh, controlled, not uh, just like using a pen. Clicking pixel rather than drawing like this. Um, and then you have uh, the colors, the blendings. Uh, you want in pixel art to use the less colors as possible and so you will avoid doing planes with this tool for example um, and, do, and do that you will try to to do some line of colors or use differing like here to have only two colors between here and here um, okay so let's see the, some basics create a new picture I will make the background uh, white because it will make things easier. And how to do pixel art. So you will use only the pencil again. You will set probably at the beginning a size of one and select the color to start putting things. So you see, the first thing is selecting the good size for your picture. Because if you are starting like this, this is huge for pixel art. You don't want to do, to do this, you want to start with um, another size. So it will go. I will do something interesting. I will draw something. And now I will change the size. Um, I will scale the image. I will select percentage, because why not? And I will do like 20% uh, of this one. And now. You will see this, and you already see something interesting, a problem. Um, you can see it, it is blur, blur, um, because I change the size. So yes, one thing about pixel art if it is it is hard to resize a pixel art unless you do something like two times or four times the size of what you did in pixel. You can't have half a pixel. So to avoid that, uh, what you can do is going image, scale image, but disable interpolation. So if you do this and you select the same size, 20% of the original size, you will have this. So it's always a good thing to know if you want to increase or decrease the size of a picture, always disable interpolation. That is the same when you use uh, this tool. You can change the size here, but be sure to disable interpolation here. And uh, yes, that will do it. Another thing to know is when you will use your pencil, if you use it like this, you will create double pixels. But if you don't want to come back and remove them manually, to do something more pixel perfect, you may want to click 
click, use shift, and then click again. This way you can draw something already nearly pixel perfect, and you will just try to correct the shapes, like, uh, like this for example, to have something wrong on the... Uh, yeah, it's already better. Hmm, I will check my, my list of things I want to say, but um, we did resizing, pixel perfect drawing, now we'll already go in something much more complicated, Divering. What is divering? Divering is doing this kind of pattern, for example, so you have plenty of way to do it, copy past, for example, but, uh, but it will take a, a lot of time if you want to fill this uh, wall uh, picture. So you can, of course, uh, do a lot of things to have this divering. One is to control click. Uh, control C after you selected something like this and then you can select your last copy copy, copy the clipboard uh, thing uh, as a brush and now you can draw with this so as you see it is useful but it is not the best way to, to do things because you can have this kind of uh, things so there is another way to, to do even better. And this is my uh, one of my secret uh, te techniques. So make sure you have a layer just for divering. So you can create a new with shift click for example. Then do a right click and add a mask. The mask is uh, a simple layer aside of the first layer, which, which we tell um, GIMP uh, what is visible or not visible on the first one. So if I draw something like this with another shape again, like this, and if I select this uh, second layer, this mask layer, then everything I will draw in black will be hidden here. So even if I go do uh, something else, what is black here will be hidden. So it is a great tool because if I remove something on this layer, what was hidden will be visible. So this is a non-destructive operation. You can always undo what you did. So it's a great tool. So for example, I will just go back and do this. Okay, so why we did this? I will erase everything. Here. I will put it everywhere. Okay, so we want a divering uh, to do this. What we will do is on the second uh, layer, the mask layer, we'll do something like this. I, I will go back on the first layer and do my divering pattern like this. One, one, and I don't need more because this is already enough to, to do uh, a brush and to copy uh, this thing. So, okay, I copied it in the clipboard, and now I can use this uh, tool, bucket to fill my selection, my screen, uh, with this pattern, if I click here on the, the first one, which is always the clipboard. So I can do this. Okay, this is a way to do the ring, but if I want to change colors, it will make things complicated, but, so it is not a good way. I will instead add it in the mask layer, so you can see the mask layer with Alt on clicking on it. And now, if I select a color like red, for example, and draw on this layer, everything I draw will be divered. And even if I go back here, it, when we, it will join, it will always be a, a, a good space between pixels because this is the same pattern and I can even change the color and draw on it it will work so wait <laughs> okay now you can see why this is a, a great tool and for example I will show you how we can do uh, our first 3d ball but much better and really fast using givering for the shadow and for lighting for example 
So you create a new layer with shift click. Take my pencil, select the color, for example this one. Uh, maybe it's a bit big. I will do my my ball. I will change the size something smaller. Now I'll create a new layer. Make sure you put names on layers to, to make your life easier later. So I will not do it, of course. And I'll create another um, uh, mask layer and I will select my bucket. Always with the same pattern. And do this. Uh, you have another way to do this. You can add your own pattern. So I will check, uh, I will put in the description my patterns if you want to use them because there is multiple ways to do different. Now, I will come back here. Control click to select the color of the ball. And now I will do something with more light, more white. Like this, for example. Change the size. Do it like this. Change the color again. Full size. And do this, for example. Now I can create another layer with a mask. Again. Fill this layer with my selection. Like this. And now I will do a shadow. Or using this, uh, this color a bit darker. And and around this point. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so you can see this was pretty easy to do um, to do it. So it's great and you get combine this uh, technique with uh, the right click alpha to selection to do like for example uh, a divering uh, like this really really easy so I will do it in black for example Oops. you can do it very easily and if later you are not happy for example I'm not happy with the shape you can still um, for example uh, create a a new one just for, for this and select what I did again I did adding this layer adding the shape here so what will I do I will select alpha to selection select black and fill everything This way with this sorry and now I will uh, use the eraser select another size and do this so it's a proper shadow for example okay so now you see how you can fill an entire piece with divering with very low effort so that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to, to check the next one with other tips. Mm, thank you very much and bye bye!